Hello guys, welcome back and today I'm going to show you how to put a text over an image in Microsoft Word. Okay, before we start though, make sure to subscribe and to like this video. Once you have your Word open, you have a new page, we're going to insert the picture you want. So you can even copy and paste that for wherever you have it on your computer or online, or you can click insert, pictures, and then this device, that means we're taking it from your computer. Find wherever you saved your image, and then we're going to click on the image and then insert. So now you've got your image on your page. You can resize it using the bottom dials to pull it up and down. At the moment, we can't move it freely, but if we click it with all the dials surrounding it, picture format, position, and with text wrapping, that means we can move it wherever we want. If you want to put it back in the middle of your, basically the center of your top of your page, click it again so the dials show, picture format, and then align align center so it just pops it back into place so now we've got the background you want you're then going to insert the text in front of it so there's two methods we're going to use for a longer bits of information we can use the text box so we're going to start there first so insert text box and i know we do simple text box is fine so i really love space easy as that so you can type as much or as little as you want you can drag it out to fit that information I haven't got lots of information, so I'm not going to make it too big. However, if I wanted to make the font bigger, drag it out from the corner, highlight the text, go back to home, click on the font you want, and then make the size a little bit bigger so it fills it all out. If it does come out so it's underneath the box, you can then just drag it out to make it fit. I want it all on straight line like that, so it top, goes to the top of my page. If, again, it's not moving exactly where you want, Click it once, shape formats, position with text wrapping. That's a really quick way of getting it to be put exactly where you want it on your picture. So the main concern I'm having is that you can't see the background behind it. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change it to white just because I know the background is gonna be black. So highlight the text, click on the white there. Then you're gonna click on the box, go to shape format, go to shape fill, and then click no fill but you can still see a tiny bit of the black border around it. Click it again, shape format, then shape outline, and then click no outline. If you want an outline, just click the color you want. So there is a bit of information to go over your picture. Now, the next option I like to use is a header using word art. So I like to go to insert, word art, and then click on the first option. There's lots of options you can pick from if you want and it gives you an automatic transparent text. So I'm gonna put in space. I'm gonna drag the corner out because I'm gonna to prepare to make the text bigger. I'm then gonna make sure it's in the center by clicking it and clicking a line and clicking center. I'm then going to highlight the text, clicking home, and then I'm gonna change it to a different, the same text as before. I think it's a century Gothic. And then I'm gonna make the text a bit bigger. So if this happens again where you can't see the rest of the words, drag it out, and then we're going to leave it there. Now, you might be thinking, well, I want to add some more effects to my uh, title. Highlight it again. Shape format. Text fill. I want it a green. A text X outline is giving that kind of uh, stroke around it using a white one. And text effects are quite good. You can apply a shadow. You can apply a reflection. And you can even add a bit of 3D rotation and transformation of the words so it could be a bit different and a bit crazy. It's as simple as that, guys. You have a bit of information, use a text box. If you have a big, bold header, use word arts. It's as simple as that, guys. I'll see you next time.